Hi, I'm Mike Wollner, sales representative for Mackey, and I'm at Northern Sound and Light to show you the new DL1608 from Mackey. The DL1608 is uh, really kind of a new breakthrough for digital mixing because it incorporates the iPad. Uh, there are two basic elements to the, the design of the mixer. There's the hardware package, which does all the heavy lifting and all the DSP processing. And then there's the free application we call Master Fader. It's a free download uh, on the iTunes Store. You'll notice that as soon as I dock the thing, it reconnects with the hardware. As soon as I take it off, it very quickly synchronizes with the mixer and goes right into your mix mode. Now, what's nice about this is that uh, there's actually a tray in here. You can take these four screws out, keep the tray in if you're going to use an iPad 2 or the new iPad, take the tray out if you're going to use an iPad 1. So we work with all three iPads. Now on the hardware, <clears throat> you'll notice that we have 16 mic inputs on the back side. 12 of them are XLR mic, pre, uh, mic inputs, and then uh, four of them are combos, which easily accommodate a line input jack. Uh, all have access to phantom power. These will go through a, uh, it, by the way, these are Mackie Onyx uh, mic pre's, which are award-winning, very low noise, high performance mic pre's. Uh, all of the inputs on the mixer goes through uh, Cirrus Logic A to D's. They're 24-bit and uh, very low noise with a uh, signal and noise ratio of about 114 dB. Oh, you'll notice also on the back, we have uh, not only our left and right outputs balanced, but we also have six auxiliary sends. Cat5 for your wireless router, and of course power. That's a locking power connector, so it won't come off. It threads down and locks in. Headphone and headphone level, and we also have uh, a gain control that's uh, a nice analog interface with a bicolor LED so setting your gains is nice and easy just uh, stay out of the red and you'll be good to go now for the fun part the application <clears throat> the uh, you'll you'll do all of your mixing from the surface of the iPad and you can do it whether you're docked into the mixer or whether you're outside of the mixer like that now, right now, we're in the fader view. The fader view will give you eight channels at a time. All you got to do is swipe left or right. And you'll notice, this is our master fader. This never goes away. So no matter what screen you're into, uh, whether it's processing or the input levels, you're always going to have access to your master fader. You'll also note that as I highlight, the, uh, the item that I'm highlighting kind of glows to give you visual confirmation that you're actually uh, controlling something there. Um, we also have the ability to name all of our channels. We also have the, uh, a bunch of icons that you can select. So you can uh, select everything from a, a picture on your iPad to uh, even snapping a picture, or you can use one of the uh, icons that we have in our library in the application. But yeah, you could even take a picture of your mates with your iPad, lock them right in here, and you'll have their pictures right on, the, uh, right on each channel. We have solo, mute, this is our pan control right here. To access the channel DSP, simply touch the EQ at the top of the channel, and now you have complete access to the four band parametric with a high pass filter. You can touch these active icons within the curve, or you can actually adjust all of your frequencies and cues and gains from these sliders here. This is our high pass filter down here. You'll notice that we have the channel uh, strip over here, so you still have access to your channel gain, and you never lose sight of your main output gain as well. To access an adjacent channel, simply swipe left or right, and you can grab that next channel and adjust that EQ as well. To adjust the other DSP, uh, we have you just simply swipe up. <clears throat> we have a gate. Again, full complement of controls for the gate. Compressor, full complement of controls for the compressor swipe up again and now you have access to your reverb as well as access to your delays we have plenty of dsp in here a nice uh, uh, stereo effects engine so you'll have plenty to play with as as you uh, mix your uh, your tune and then uh, to go back to the mixer section simply press the mixer and you're back to the fader level so <clears throat> that is uh, our basic dsp for the uh, channel inputs on the uh, far end of the mixer, you'll see that we have our reverb return here, our delay return here, and if you're docked 
in the mixer, you get the bonus of being able to play back from any uh, audio playback application you have on your iPad, and that's going to come right up here. So there's where your break songs, right in your iPad. Now, on the master fader section, we can access not only our left and right output, but we can access all of our auxiliary sends, and then each fader on each input becomes the auxiliary send for that input. Also near the master fader section, we have presets and snapshots, so we do have the ability to recall any and all settings of the mixer. Um, the uh, record button will allow you to record your left and right mix to the iPad as long as it's docked. And um, uh, the other nice thing about having it docked is that uh, it'll actually be charging your iPad while it's docked. And lastly, uh, we can support up to 10 iPads uh, through the DL1608 through a wireless router, which means that you could have one guy doing monitors while the other guy does mains. You could have each band member doing their own monitor mix. So a really, really flexible system. This is a phenomenal mixer, phenomenal value, very easy to use. If you know how to use an iPad, you're going to be right at home with this thing, the DL1608 by Mackie.